Welcome to our clinic in Tijuana, Mexico. I'm here with... Hushba Tayat. Now, what part of the world did you come from? The UK, London. Okay, now, uh, don't, any comments? That's our home country, two great countries separated by a common language. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, you came out here with, with some joint issues. Yes, it was osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. Earlier I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I was wrongly prescribed and wrongly diagnosed. So I've been suffering for 20 years now. And that's that's a medical medical care um, misdiagnosing treating with do they treat with herbs and natural substances Nothing. and diet and Nothing. they treat just with medicines. just medications that suppress your immune system yeah. oh okay okay crazy okay now you know your your knees didn't have full range of motion yes okay where you were walking pretty bent over now we, you've been here for a couple of days yeah. What have you noticed? This oh, is so cool. This is tremendous, actually. I did not, uh, I, I knew that I'm going to be better, but that quick, that wasn't I was expecting. So I think in one day's mm -hmm. uh, adjustment, I felt really, really good, and I'm hoping that the further I'm going, I'm going to be good. What, one of our patients who saw her for the first time yesterday, what, he remarked, oh, my gosh. Because you literally went from this to this. <laughs> it was like, yeah. I know, he was jumping, and I, I was jumping too. Next week, you're going to be a lot taller than me. Uh, yes. <laughs> I think you know, it's okay, it is. Oh, for sure. <laughs> now, now, but you try a whole bunch of things. Misdiagnosis, um, even with a proper diagnosis, you're not going to see rheumatoid arthritis as a disease attacking yourself. You still have to fix the physical, chemical, emotional. Now, we were doing certain things, adjusting the spine, working the tissue, creating inflammation yes that's oh. damaging tissue by correcting it wow it's a is that interesting because inflammation is not damaging the tissue but yes, the, every yeah. doctor says it is yes it is that's why they prescribe that's... the non the anti-inflammatories tell me about it <laughs> <laughs> so so what could you tell because you did something that most people don't do you're you're in the system you're getting the care everything else and you just said no, let me try something else. Yeah, actually that became because I was only 23 when I was wrongly prescribed, diagnosed as rheumatoid arthritis and the doctor said you have to live on the medicine for your life. Mm. I was not ready to hear that. I was a young girl, active and healthy all my life, so there was nothing like that. And when they suggested I was devastated. And then, but since I was in so much pain, so I took the advice, but I started researching it because before that I did not know what rheumatoid arthritis is. So I started doing my research and then I found out that how this drug works. So it says rheumatoid arthritis attacks, uh, creates antibodies in the body and it attacks immune system. And the drug, what does the drug do? It attacks the immune system, so it gets weakened, and so you don't get symptoms. And I'm like, hang on a minute, the immune system is already under attack. So why this drug is not working on the antibodies and the immune system? Okay, what we, called, we used to call this common sense, because it's no longer common anymore. What? <laughs> exactly. what, what did your doctor say when you were mentioning? Oh, he was deeply, deeply offended. I took I uh, took the prescription, and he said, "This is what you prescribe. What what are your comments?" And oh, we have this is the only prescription. This is the only way of treating it. And I said, "I'm not okay. Let's find something on your own." That's, that's what, what he, that's did. what he said. He said, "Find something on your own." I'm like, "Okay, I will." <laughs> I'm like, "All right, I will." And then um, seven years ago, my surgeon. Uh, said, oh, you're not rheumatic anymore, you're osteoarthritis patient, so, and your knee is completely damaged. It's not working anymore, so we need to replace it with the plastic one. And I'm like, this one is not working. How come plastic one is going to work? <laughs> then for how long? Mm -hmm. And then I said, no, I'm not okay. I'm not losing my, whatever God has given me, I'm not changing it. I'm not replacing it with metal or plastic or whatever side does. Please don't talk to me. Think the strength of character to go against the doctor's recommendations. And I'm telling you, the knee wouldn't bend to 90 degrees yesterday. Yes, now it is. Yesterday, now it is. 
right. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just human beings are built by God. They're smart. They're self-healing, self-regulating. Mm-hmm. So, so did, have you always had the strength of character to, yes. to go against? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> okay, what, what could you tell someone that, that's stuck in that medical paradigm? Their d- drug symptom, drug symptom. Do your own research. Listen to your gut. Listen to your heart. And go to the right doctor's place. Don't just go to the white coats. <laughs> that that's true. I mean, if your if your main source of medical care is somebody um, giving you a, a chemical, you can call it a magic medication that alters your physiologic response to stress. You can call it blood pressure, cholesterol, or blood sugar, type two diabetes. Oh yeah, I was diagnosed with diabetes too. Oh, oh, my little, you shouldn't have that anymore. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Ninety-five percent of all diabetics are type two, and type two. If you look at the look at the movie, it is simply raw. You know, within a week, everyone's off of the meds. Yeah, but it's a stress response. So healthcare should be taking care of your health, knowing that your body is self-healing and self-regulating. Like this girl. <laughs> God bless you. And God I bless mean, you too. Just the courage that you had to take charge of your health. Plus your results. And uh, standing up straight. <laughs> and I must say this man is a savior. I'm saying I'm, it. I'm just a wrench and God does the healing. <laughs> okay. God bless you all. Stay healthy, my friends, and know that there is a solution for you. Just find it. If you can't make it here, find it to some doctor that can guarantee some results. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah.